We're on. Hey YouTube, John Willie seventy seven here. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's happened this past week. It's been a crazy week. It's been an amazing week, uh, YouTube wise. Um, so many new friends. So many uh, new subscriptions that I've subscribed to people um, to watch their journeys, and it's going to be amazing as I work through uh, this next portion of my life as I prepare for the lap band. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Bandit B in particular. Um, it's going to be fun watching his journey. I think he's going to have fun watching mine. There's a lot of similarities between us that I can tell already. Um, and uh, thanks for the shout-out, dude. That was cool. Um, you're right. My job is, is unreal, uh, the things that I get to do each day. That's going to be the topic of this video is my job and how it gets in the way of my health um, and my life. Uh, my lifestyle choices. Um, it's tough. <clears throat> but um, a little more about that in a second. Uh, first, um, had a had a cool night last night. I, I went and uh, we had a game. It was a Sunday game. Um, so it's 1 o'clock. Um, I was out of there by 5. Went and came home. Saw my, saw my boys and my wife. Um, and uh, had dinner. And then went to my sleep study. Um and uh, they're testing me for sleep apnea. Um, not my choice, but my primary care doctor wants to, as there's uh, there's a chance that having that comorbidity will help um, in the whole process of uh, obtaining the lap in through insurance purposes, which is going to be huge uh, for me. So um, that was weird. Uh, she told me what sleep apnea was, and uh, I... I'd known a little bit about it just from research, um, but uh, it seemed like when she told me, "Yeah, you hold your breath and you know," and then you started yourself awake. I did that the rest of the night, like almost subconsciously, because she told me. But I was kept waking myself up, holding my breath, which I remember doing before, but I don't remember doing it much lately. So I'm sure I failed. I'm sure I have sleep apnea. They're going to tell me that. I wonder if they'll put me on a CPAP machine or. Um, if they're just going to say that losing weight is going to be what helps me. So, love to hear anybody's stories with sleep apnea, if they've had it before. Um, uh, if they still have it and how it's treated, how it related to your lap band surgery, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, I digress there. Um, so, again, m a little bit about my past. Um, right now I am a professional photographer. I do work for a, a baseball team in Arizona. Um, and, um, uh, it's, it's an unreal job, but it presents some amazing challenges when you're talking about health. As many of you know, as many of you have probably been to a, a pro sporting event, um, in a big, uh, ballpark or arena, it's tough to eat. Um, but it wasn't always that way for me. My undergraduate degree is in sports medicine. I have a certification in athletic training. Um, I am an ATC, um, which means a certified athletic trainer, uh, not a personal trainer, a certified athletic trainer. Um, and uh, I have a master's degree in sports business and sports medicine. So it's uh, people, and I love the comments, like keep them coming about how I can make healthier choices and, and, and things I can do to, to, to change my lifestyle. But for me, the knowledge is here. Um, I have the book knowledge. Um, I have the 10 years of working with high level division one track and field athletes, um, hockey players, baseball players, and, uh, and professional hockey players. I, I did a stint in, in professional hockey as well as an athletic trainer. Um, so there was knowledge here. I was telling people on a daily basis how to keep their bodies in top shape and how to refrain from getting injured um, when I was following none of it. Um, there were times, sure, like we've all been through, where we're working out um, and uh, we're losing weight and getting better. And, and I had some great support from my athletes when I was doing that. But uh, a lot of that I could never maintain. So when when people tell you, you just need to eat less and you need to exercise more. Yeah, we do, but I, I am a firm believer that there is something physiologically wrong with some of us. I'm not, it's not a blanket statement on everyone, but I really think that, that overweight, obese people, 
there's physiologically an issue there. And I know there's science that, that can back me up and there's more coming out. Um, but something in our brains won't let us get there, whether it's psychological or, um, uh, or, or mental or what, uh, you know, it, it's hard for me to tell, um, hereditary, a lot of that stuff plays into it. But uh, for me, I have never had high blood pressure. I've never had high cholesterol. I've never had diabetes, knock on wood and all this stuff. But that's, I think what has hurt me. And that's why I am where I am today. Every time I go into the doctor's office and I do blood work or a physical, they always tell me you're in, you're really in, in good shape not physically, but, um, physiologically, um, my blood work always comes back and it makes me look like I'm, uh, 195 pounds. And they always kind of question, sometimes they've even questioned if they have the right blood work. Um, and they retake BP and they retake, um, cholesterol and stuff like that. And it's always come back normal. And just once I want, I wanted them to tell me, you got to change your life because it never happened. Um, and, and sometimes you want that the bad thing to happen. Unfortunately, as bad as it sounds for me, that's, that's what I was longing for. It didn't happen. Um, and even this last one that I went to, um, to, for, you know, I may have sleep apnea, which may, may help, um, me mentally focus a little bit more, but, uh, uh, so my tool is going to be the band. Um, that is going to be my tool to change. Now, I'm already making changes for me um, because I know this is happening. This whole week I went without um, soda. I had one soda on Saturday, and that was it. And that was because I was struggling. I have a three-month-old. It was uh, and a three-year-old, and sleep was not coming well and, and um, trying to keep myself awake Um throughout the day. Um, I take five hour energy, um, if I need it to get through, it's awesome. It's, it's it really does, does what it says. Um, and it's a little caffeine. There's no cal. It's like five calories or something like that. Um, uh, but I'm trying to wean off caffeine. I have a killer headache right now because of it. Um, and I've been going through withdrawal symptoms, but for me, um, my biggest struggles are at work. Um, when I'm not at work, my wife has been real supportive of the healthy eating. Um, and, uh, and I, it, if I can get her going on the whole, the whole spiel, the new lifestyle, when we get it cranking, it's going to be amazing what it's going to do for both of us. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but uh, it's going to be a challenge for me at work and I'm going to need everybody's help with, uh, getting through, um, what I deal with on a daily basis. Breakfast at home. I got a magic bullet lately. I'm, uh, or a knockoff one. Um, it's unbelievable how, how well it makes smoothies and everything like that. Um, so I'm doing good in the mornings at breakfast. It's usually a pretty good meal for me. Lunch. There's a lot of times I bring lunch. Rarely if I ever do I eat it. Um, there's this culture at our work to go out and eat because we work so many hours. We want to get out of the office and, and break up the day a little bit. Um, and then on a game day, um, the press meal opens at about 4.30 on a night game. And I go in and eat the press meal because other, other than that, I'm not going to be back in my office um, until after the game, which sometimes can be 9 o'clock, sometimes can be 10 o'clock, sometimes can be 11 o'clock. Um, and then after that, I go down and, and visit with my friends and kind of unwind a little bit um, before I head home in the clubhouse. And there's a big old spread down there, which I eat. Um, so I'm eating four pretty high calorie meals a day and snacking in between. And, um, those are big things that are going to be big for me to change, um, as I work through this, but you know, I'm going to continue to find ways to take baby steps to change that. Um, the season's over in less than two weeks. Um, and I'll have the band right before spring training starts. Um, or, or, or probably right in the middle of spring training. Um, and so I can really focus on changing those habits. Uh, pretty excited about that. Excited about bringing my meals. I know my wife is for financial reasons. Excited about me bringing my meals. Um, and uh, I know there's ways I'll be able to work around eating um, while I'm in there. Uh, and uh, I look forward to those challenges as well. So Anyway, that's a little bit about me, uh, what I do, the challenges I face at work. I, I watch a lot of videos, and I don't see, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about their struggles in the workplace, um, and uh, that's why I'm there a lot, 